Hello, I wanted to start transferring a lot of my projects onto the ESP32 platform. This particular board here is the Lolin ESP32 Wemos, as it's referred to by the supplier. That's something I purchased just recently. The, the ILI 9341 display is quite popular and um, has an SPI connection down this side and over there is provision for uh, an SD card um, so you can have chip select for the screen or chip select for the SD card that's at the back of these uh, units although it's the full size SD card um, getting, getting the ESP32 to uh, use the uh, ILI 9341 display uh, proved to be actually quite straightforward. Um, I also wanted just to quickly show you these breakout boards that you can now get. It enables this um, Lolin ESP32 OLED, as, again as it's referred to by the supplier, to be plugged in there and use various shields. This one here is a SHT 22 temperature humidity they can plug into there or there so you can have two of these and this one here is a battery shield and the lipo the usb power source goes there and the lipo goes there and um, it will run the esp32 from either power source which is quite useful and again there's another shield that can fit into there but for the purposes of this video, it's all about getting the display up and running. Things to note, I think you can just about make out on there, is that um, you can't use, or I haven't found an easy way of using what I call logical pin numbers, so that could be called D0, D2, D12. So these are the actual ESP GPIO pin numbers 0, 2, 14, 12, 13, 15, 4 and 5. And uh, if you look on the diagram there are some more over here as well. So to get the display running it's simply a question of uh, connecting the right data pin over to the SPI bus. So in the next part of the video I'll show the connection diagram and I'll put a short extract of the code and I'll put the code to drive the um, display using an ESP32 onto GitHub and the links will be in the description below. Connecting the SPI bus TFT display is relatively straightforward. Follow the wiring diagram as depicted here and I'll copy it onto GitHub for clarity. Essentially the, as the chart depicts in the bottom right hand side, a VCC is connected of the TFT is connected to 5 volts, ground to ground, chip select to pin 0, reset to pin 13, the data command pin to pin 2, master out slave in to pin 14, system clock to pin 12 and the LED to the 3 volt pin. The LED pin can be generally varied between 0 and 5 volts or you can do that with pulse width modulation to vary the intensity of the backlight. What I've included here are the necessary definitions for the display. They're actually quite standard and I'll, I'll include a, a demo program in the GitHub uh, links as well so that you can you can mix and match. You have to include the SPI bus library, uh, the Adafruit graphics and the driver for the display itself, the ILI 9341. Then define all the connections, so that's the table in the diagram corresponds with the connections here. Um, I haven't been able to get, and then you have to define the object to get the display to, to actually operate. I haven't been able to get the hardware SPI operating 
but the one the example I'm showing here if you're using the breakout the software SPI uh, functions uh, quite effectively so prefix any any of your programs that require the ILI 9341 display with this short section of code here then you can utilize all of the drawing functions later on in your uh, program providing you've initialized the display in the normal way well i hope you found that useful uh, i'm sure like most people like me i wanted to get the esp32 operating or using a display and uh, now it is and uh, that opens up further possibilities all i needed to do to modify the code for my this is a metar um, um, a weather coded data decoder was to change the display uh, connection characteristics in the uh, in the software uh, enjoy